Welcome to my Edmonton housing market update for period ending January 31st, 2019. So on this episode, I'm gonna provide you with a real estate market update for Edmonton and new this month, Sherwood Park real estate market. Also, you'll find out what those stats mean to you, whether you're buying a home, selling a home, or maybe thinking of investing. And lastly, the city's at it again. They've expropriated more land. You'll find out what they've expropriated and what they're gonna use it for. So, let's dive in. So just a really quick reminder, if you haven't clicked that subscribe button, go ahead and click it and that little bell so you don't miss any great episodes like this one. So real estate market stats for Edmonton and Shore Park. <sighs> just kidding, it's not gonna be that boring, I promise. So today we're gonna specifically look at the stats for detached single family homes in Edmonton and Shore Park. So for the month of January, Edmonton had 3,214 homes for sale. 361 of those homes sold. Which means if you're selling in Edmonton at this time, you had 11.23% chance of selling. But when you compare this to Sherwood Park, they had 201 homes for sale and 42 of those homes sold which meant you had a 20.9% chance of selling than if you were selling in Edmonton. It's like double, or just a little bit under double. Wow. So, but what's really interesting about that is that the average price for single detached homes in Edmonton was only $392,038, whereas in Sherwood Park, the average was $429,000, $944 for the single detached home. When you look back in time, both of these averages actually compare to the single detached average home price between 2012 and 2013. Also, even though Sherrod Park's average home price for the single detached home was higher than in Edmonton, the days on market were fewer the average days on market in Shore Park was 75 days, whereas in Edmonton, it was 79 days for the single family detached home. Okay, so for all you stat junkies out there, I know this is not enough information for you, but for the other people, it might be a little bit boring. So what I've done instead is included a link below in the description where you can download the full report for Edmonton, for Shore Park. I've also included the Edmonton Real Estate Board reports there for you as well. Okay, great. So we know the average price. We know how many days it's going to take you, almost three months. What does that mean to you as a seller and as a buyer? Well, if you're selling, the bottom line is the competition is fierce. We are in a strong buyer's market. Though, it doesn't mean things aren't selling, because they are. We saw the stats. What this means to you is that you need to up your game. Buyers today have choices. And honestly, they typically don't want to move into a home that needs upgrades. Unless, of course, the price is right. So in this market, the discount to the sale price isn't dollar for dollar, like the discount price and the cost for the renovation. Buyers are now expecting the cost of inconvenience to be priced into that price reduction if the home needs upgrades. And only then will your house be more desirable than the comparables that do have the upgrades. So buyers, as you know, this is a great time to buy. There are deals to be had right now, especially if you're looking in the condo market. However, if you're looking in a certain price range for a single family detached home in certain neighborhoods, there's still competition. Let me give you some perspective. Out of the 261 single family detached homes that sold in Edmonton in January, 2019, 65% of them, or 210 homes, were priced between 300,000 and 500,000. So if this is the price range you fall in and you're looking in a desirable neighborhood in the Edmonton greater area, 
you may not see the buyer's market deal that you were hoping for. Okay, investors. So the stats prove it, right? It is a great time to build your portfolio. Maybe you wanna add some buy and holds to it or potentially you wanna start flipping some properties later in 2019. So what I recommend to be on the lookout for is anything along the future LRT lines, especially the Valley line. Properties on 50 foot lot in desirable centrally located communities and or duplexes with separate entrances to the basement. Now that the city has changed the bylaws on legal suites for basements in duplexes, with a purchase of one full duplex, that could gain you four doors. So lastly, what has the city of Edmonton recently expropriated? And what are they gonna use that land for? So the city has recently expropriated existing surface gravel parking lots just north of Jasper Ave and south of 102nd Ave with 107th Street in between the lots. The total amount of land that they expropriated was 1.25 hectares. The city plans to develop this land into what they're calling the Warehouse Campus Park. This park will be large enough to host community events as well as gatherings for many informal rec and leisure activities for the family. So tell me, what's your thoughts on this recent expropriation of land and the use that they're gonna use it for? Comment below. Love to hear from you. Well, thanks for watching this episode of the Edmonton Real Estate Market Update, including Shore Park. Don't forget to click that subscribe button in case you missed it at the beginning because you're so excited about the video. Now's your time. Go ahead and click that subscribe button and that little bell so you don't miss any other great episodes like this or other informative videos that I put out. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next video. Bye for now.